Control theory is a field of study that is fundamental to cutting edge developments in a broad range of fields, ranging from health to agriculture and from robotics to energy and transportation. Growing tomatoes on an industrial scale involves a complicated balance. Plants have various needs. Take water as an example. When the soil around the plant is dry, we must add water. But too much water can damage the roots of the plant and kill it. Balancing the water needs of a tomato plant is a simple example of a system. But plants also require a careful balance of light, temperature, air humidity and nutrition making the system increasingly complicated. All these variables affect each other and ultimately the production of the plant. When we add outside variables such as the market and transportation, we can see that finding the perfect balance between all variables is a great challenge. As systems and control engineers, we approach such problems by modeling them in the language of mathematics. By looking at inputs, outputs and internal states, we create controllers that use feedback to influence the outputs of the systems by manipulating their inputs. At our department, we are developing methods for controlling such dynamical systems to optimize their performance and to guarantee safety of their behavior. We do this in a wide variety of different fields. Let's have a look at some of the research we are working on. With the growing number of sensors and imaging systems around us, it's essential to develop new methods and algorithms to make sense of these massive amounts of data that are being measured. In DCSC, we develop new machine learning and signal processing methods. And when they are combined, for example, with biomolecular imaging systems, they allow us to go beyond what would be possible with the hardware alone. Our work, for example, on super resolution and adaptive optics and on molecular imaging with mass spectrometry and also on petabyte size spectral imaging have yielded several new biological insights. And some of these are currently being used to try to discover some of the underlying reasons for specific diseases. Data-driven control is the art and science of building models from data and use them for decision making. So in the data-driven control cycle, there are three steps. So the first one is data collection from the real system and to combine them with a model. The second step is to use this model for designing a control algorithm. And the final step is to apply them again on the real system. In the case of a wind farm, this will mean that you can produce more energy out of a given wind farm and you can guarantee a lifetime of at least 30 years. Hybrid systems are a class of dynamical systems where continuous flows are integrated with instantaneous jumps. Hybrid systems are particularly suited to model biological systems, where continuous processes are integrated with discrete events. We are currently using hybrid systems theory to come up with innovative strategies to grow more resilient crops. Optimization refers to the systematic process of selecting the best option among a set of choices. The ultimate goal is to maximize the performance of the system while respecting the operational constraints. In our work, among other things, we use optimization to bring efficiency and intelligence for various modes of transportation. This includes solving all sorts of problems, from traffic light control, traffic routing, to train timetable scheduling, and providing speed advice for cyclists. Do you want to know more about our department and our research? then visit our website for more information.